What is up guys, welcome back. So this is a graph that has been floating around Reddit for the past few days. And it's also something that was shared to me while I was streaming. When I first saw it, I, I was the first thing I said was I can't math. Like I I had no idea what's going on. And um, it, it looks really, really intimidating. Uh, um, especially like when I actually saw the, the actual Reddit post. This is, this is not good. Like just looking at this makes me it, it makes me wish, it makes me wish I was more Asian, alright? Um, I, I can't math, like, even though I'm Asian, I can't math. I think Asians have, like, this, this secret ratio that increases their math ability by, like, a little bit if you ever played WoW. But the ratio ability is, like, super, super low. It's probably, like, like 1 or 2% um, extra math ability. Even with that, I, I still can't math. Um, I, true, true story, I actually dropped out of my first college because I failed calculus twice. So, yeah, you, you know how bad my math is, but I'm going to try my best to explain this to you um, in a way that most players that play the game can understand. And this will definitely help you a lot when you're building monsters and theory crafting in the future. So, this graph is uh, called the defense... I think he should call it defense to damage reduction... Um, graph basically damage to deep damage reduction percent graph um, so on the the Y this is the amount of damage reduction and on X is the amount of defense so if you look at this graph it's really really straightforward say for example your monster has 1,000 defense you can trace it up trace up this line and you'll see um, at this point when your monster has a thousand defense you will have 40% damage reduction so if the monster if the enemy does like um, you know a hundred damage to you then you will block out 40% of it and receive 60 damage. You know, that, I think that's pretty straightforward. A lot of people can understand that. So the purpose of this graph is to plan out effective HP. Um, effective HP is a very, very common thing in any game. Like any game that requires some sort of building or theory crafting, effective HP is is something that is um, that's definitely you know always always considered. Um, so. In Monster Super League, there's only two types of defensive stats. Well, like, you know, main defensive stats. I'm not going to count resistance, because, like, resistance is, like, full RNG. Um, but in terms of just straight-out tankiness, in terms of damage mitigation, there's... <coughs> there's defense, and then there's HP. Defense increases the amount of... Like, decreases the amount of damage you actually take by a percentage, and HP increases the overall HP pool that your monster can be damaged um, for. So... The, the formula goes like something like this, uh, defense divided by defense plus 1500. So this makes it so that your defense will never reach um, will never reach 100% because of the extra 1500. What this also means is if you if you take a look at the way the graph is, is going up, um, you'll see that at the exactly at the 1500 point, you'll see like a turning point. The, the graph goes up like really really high like the the amount of like like defense is super valuable here 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 all the way up to a thousand five hundred then it starts dropping um, the effectiveness of the defense actually starts dropping like more and more you, you'll see the slope go down even more and more and more each time and um, you know by just just by like general math like once it reaches like the three thousand point the the slope is already half of what it was at a um, thousand five hundred you know. And then once it doubles again, the slope is already half of that as well. So like once that doubles again, the slope is half of that again. Um, meaning that the more HP you stack on a monster, um, the less you get out of it. There's like a, you know, I think they call it the diminishing return. Um, you won't exactly get the same value if you just keep stacking defense. So the purpose of this graph is to find out how much defense versus how much HP you want to have on a monster in order to achieve basically maximum tankiness on a monster. And the I explained before at 1,500 to 3,000, this is like basically half. Um, you kind of want to you kind of want to like aim, I would say, um, a pretty good place because because of how these stats work within the game. Um, you know, obviously this is this is just theory. Like if if um, all your monsters started with zero HP and zero defense, and you had to plan that, like to have an exact amount of HP and defense, 
like the obvious thing would be to stop at 1,500 and then just increase the, their HP by by a lot. Um, how 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 should I explain this? Um, but you can't you can't exactly do that because the amount of HP and the amount of defense that an actual monster has is is limited. Um, you'll I'll just take a random monster for example. I think the water. Or Dark Sea Star. Alright, I have a Dark Sea Star at 6 stars. She has around 20... Oh no, she, she has around... Yeah, she has around like 30k base HP. Um, and around 3000 defense at 6 stars. So, if you take a look look at the graph over here, at 3000, like the, the slope is already cut in half. And um, once you reach 6000, 6, the slope is already cut in half again. So, you... The, the the really good thing to aim like I, I think a really good point to aim for in terms of like a six star monster is probably somewhere between three thousand and six thousand HP if you're if you're just talking about effective HP because a max six star rune is like I don't know the exact percent I think it's like 50 60 something percent but it's it doesn't exactly give you a hundred percent like with just one rune so or, or not rune um gem I, I keep calling a rune um <laughs> gem I mean um so, if you're talking about effective HP, if you don't care about the math at all, the answer, the simple answer is, you want to have a monster, um, if you just want, like, the monster to be soaking up damage, like, if it's the only thing, only stats you want on the monster is just to soak up damage, then the best way to, to gem that monster would be to have one HP, or two HP slots and one defense slot, because that, that defense, that extra, um, bonus defense will put your monster's defense to around this area and then it'll, the effect um, the HP will boost your your monsters of you know overall health pull up but there is an actual problem with that and it has nothing to do with theory it actually has to do with the practical um, you can't the the reason why most people would usually ruin two defense and one HP is because your healers are not able to keep up with the amount of healing required to heal someone that has a HP pool of like you know 60,000 that just does not work like I don't think I don't think even like if I raise my wood Hana to max max and have her evil 3 and put like a max 6 star recovery rune on her I don't think she can heal 6 6 um, 60k HP in in one one turn I don't think that's possible. So, I uh, the, the so the reason why most people would ruin two defense and one HP is just so they their healers can keep up and their monsters will still remain tanky. So I think if you're if you're building a monster that is hybrid, um, you could have like one HP, one defense, and then one some other slot, maybe even resistance or. Um, you know, if that monster requires, to, if if it requires some bonus stat like crit rate to activate a certain passive, um, you can you can have that as well. And also, if you want that monster to have like, uh, you know, crit or something, because it you need it to do a little bit of damage, you can also put that in there, and and just have like one rune defense, one rune HP. Uh, a lot of this is like really, really theoretical. There's no, there's no straight answer because it's very, very situational. But in in the majority of of the cases, if you want to have a monster that is effective in tanking and you're pairing it up with a healer, then uh, two defense, one HP is the the optimal way to to gem that monster up. Um, if you're only caring about tankiness and you're not planning to like heal that that monster up, um, then or if that monster has like a, a flat heal that does like an HP percent heal, like either on their first skill, like an adrenaline, uh, maybe something like the Wood Valkyrie or something like that, then it would be better. And and um, because of like the HP percent healing, it might even be better for you to go with like three times HP, um, you know, because she has another heal. But if you're just if you're if you only care about tanking, if, say for example your monster has no healing, no nothing, but you're gonna throw your monster in to do some sort of tanking, and you're gonna let it die like eventually once it dies, then if you want it to tank as long as possible before dying, then the optimal way would be to have one defense and two HP. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a little bit um, not that straightforward. It's a little bit more advanced 
and it's something that will definitely help you in the future, I think, if you if you plan to um, build your monster a certain way. This is always fun, just talking about like theory stuff. There's there hasn't been like that much of a need for it, but once once like I start getting into like dragons and stuff, definitely something like this is gonna it's gonna help me um, optimize my monsters for 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 like dungeons and stuff. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, um, definitely leave me a like. The likes actually help me so much. Like, you you don't know what, like how much YouTubers, all right, YouTube likes are like everything. Um, so if you if you like this video, uh, definitely leave me a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.